Accounts on the merit budget, that was $6.4 million. I contracted out garbage, we saved $80 million. I found efficiencies of $57 million in 2011, $327 million in 2012, in 2013, $222 million. Uh, in 2014, $155 million. I got a deal with the unions that are saving $90 million. We have not had a union strike since I've been mayor, and we will not have a union strike for the next four more years. Uh, that's over a million dollars, and um, my predecessor had expenditures of $394 million, or 5% a year. I spent $8.4 million, or less than 0.2% a year. I said I was going to get rid of that 5 cent bag tax, I got rid of the 5 cent bag tax. I made TTC an essential service. Friends, what I said I'm going to do, I have done. I have cleaned up Toronto community housing, and when you know customer service excellence, guaranteed when you call Rob Ford's office, you are going to get an answer by me personally. And we have built a subway, we have built some more subways. And we are reducing the size and cost of the government, and I'm going to continue that for four more years. The people that have come before, who have nurtured us and who now need help. We have to provide great services for the elderly. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm running on the principle that we have to be able to move a lot around in this city freely and with as little cost as possible. That's the principle that I'm running on. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm running on the principle that we need to improve our environmental capital. That we have to make sure that we take care of the environment so that we have an environment to take care of in the future. That's what I'm running on, ladies and gentlemen. So, some of the basic points that fall into that are yes to the Scarborough LRT, no to Island Airport expansion, yes to full TTC service on weekends till 4 a.m., yes to time-based TTC transfers, yes to funding breakfast programs, recreation and after-school programs, yes to dedicated bike lanes, yes to arts and culture, yes to improving our infrastructure, Yes to human scale architecture. Yes to accessibility and inclusion. And yes to improving nutrition and health for our seniors. Say yes and vote for you. The higher grid making hydro cheaper. Yeah, it's interesting where you can keep cutting taxes or services, but the city does suffer, doesn't it? Well, you just have to look at, say, oh, the 400,000 people are using the food, and food banks as well as other people looking for low income housing. That says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, we do need jobs in the city. Yeah, we need to, do need a vision too as well here. Yeah, we can see, get, keep saying cut, cut. I found this in the budget, that in the budget. But at the same time, yes, can you make money? And can the city make money? I would just say and make life better for others around. Yeah, we do have to look after the seniors too as well within the city. Yeah, it's because one day we will be there ourselves too as well, won't we? Thank you. I felt my pocket going off like mad on uh, the last 15 minutes, so thank you. I'll respond to your uh, tweets <laughs> afterwards. Um, Rob, I'm not for it. There's two B's in Rob. The second B stands for better. Better transit that Toronto deserves. Better cycling. Better social services. Better housing. Better working conditions. Better access to uh, civic participation. Better communities. Better nightlife. Better arts and culture. Better for the island. Better for Toronto. Better for all of us. The mayor is one vote of 45 on a council. The mayor is just one person that's there to listen and articulate what a council of talented people has decided to on behalf of their communities. You're not voting for, you know, um, a grand dictator or anything here. You know, we're just people just like you are, and I'm here to be that, and I want to be that. Um, you're not necessarily the most educated, the most informed, the most talented, but you're the one that's the best listener, and the one that can communicate to everybody else. If I have been able to work in processes where we could start to facilitate strained relationships between police and impoverished communities, between victims of crime and their offenders, between people that have graffitied walls and people that have been had their businesses lost because of it, I'm sure I can listen to anyone and uh, find some way to meet in the middle. And that's really the point of what is what this is happening. I've never done this before. I'm a musician and a social justice activist. I care about Toronto. That's how much it means to me that it wasn't enough this election to simply vote. I needed to get up and get involved and do more. 
and I encourage all of you to do that as well, and maybe I'll be running alongside some of you over the next nine months. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm running because a whole bunch of issues have just not been addressed. When we started out the campaign, we were going to have a transit plan that I felt didn't represent the interest, not only of us here in Scarborough, and I speak as somebody who's a, uh, from Scarborough, but the wider, the wider public. Because where I come from, the idea is to serve the most people with the best value you can and to truly represent them. And when we came forward with the idea that let's, let's take the revolutionary idea and go back to people who have studied this and have worked on it on our behalf and actually come up with recommendations that in fact council agreed to. Well, I'm running because we need to face those issues. We need to face the issues, for instance, here in Scarborough of the LRT because I believe that that is more transit, that's faster, for more people, at less cost, and let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, without an additional tax increase. I'm running because I believe at council, to get things through at council, the mayor is not just one vote, he needs to work through at council with people of all stripes to bring forward programs. I have had a history not only at council, my, my three 